someone who loves fresh flowers in the house, but always second guess purchasing them because they may seem too costly? Well, my name is Sharonda and welcome to Empty Nester Chronicles. Today, I'm going to show you how I use one bouquet of supermarket flowers to make six separate bouquets to fill up the house with fresh color, wonderful smells, and just an all around cozy feeling. So please subscribe, press the notification bell so that you can know each time I upload a new video and share it with a friend. And go ahead and press the thumbs up button. Before we get started, we're taking a quick trip to Trader Joe's, one of my all-time favorite places to go for fresh bouquets. Look at these colors. I'm getting excited already. And then we're going to add a small greenery bouquet that's going to help us stretch out our arrangement. Okay, we're all set. Let's get going. So to start, what you'll want to do is pick out your containers and they can be just about any vase or vase, depending on how you pronounce it. But you wanna make sure that it's waterproof. And the more sizes, shapes, and colors you have, the more interest you create with your arrangements. So first of all, I'm going to start by taking this bouquet that I purchased from Trader Joe's and I actually have some filler and this is just going to fill in some additional spots. This bouquet was $12.99 and the filler I believe was $3.99. So less than $20, we're going to have at least a full week of fresh flowers for every room in the house if you want. So here we go. So once you get your containers, I've got two here. I've got one small one here. Um, I have a larger yellow one and two smaller ones for the bathroom. Make sure they're clean. You want to make sure that there's um, as little chance for bacteria as possible to grow. Um, fill them up with water. And your flowers usually come, especially supermarket flowers, they come with a little um, food pack. Usually when I'm doing this, that package of flowers does not stretch enough for six or seven arrangements. So for any that I run out um, of food for, just sprinkle some, I like a teaspoon of sugar in your water and also add a teaspoon of bleach to each container so that you can discourage the growth of bacteria and fungus. And your flowers will live longer. So next, I'm taking the wrapper off and I'm gonna show you a trick too with rubber bands. Many of these come with your, your floral arrangement. Don't cut them off. I'm always tempted to, but sometimes they're really handy if you keep them whole. Next, you'll want to have a nice sharp pair of floral shears. You can use scissors too, but usually when you're using the floral shears, these are sharper and when you're cutting your flower, you get a nice clean cut and that prevents you from squeezing the stem too closely together and it allows for more water to reach your flower. So this bouquet is quite large and there's so much potential here. We could even make more arrangements if we wanted. But today I'm just gonna show you the six that I have. Starting with the filler allows you to add a base and structure to your arrangement. Seeing fresh flowers always reminds me of spending family day at the farmer's market on Saturdays, which was one of my absolute favorite, favorite things to do as a family. But now, um, as empty nesters, we haven't taken the time to do that as much. I think that's also something I wanna get back to doing. Sometimes you think once the nest is empty, 
you no longer go on outings and do the things that you enjoyed doing as a family, but that's not true. You can still go and um, check out the farmer's market, get the local um, greenery, the local flavors with the produce, and there's usually many artisans there with handcrafted jewelry, um, clothing, things like that. So that's definitely something, if that's something you enjoy, you want to continue to do. So with these fillers, these have quite a woody stem on them and very sturdy. With the sturdier plants, you're going to want to slip them, slip them at an angle. If you see here, I'm cutting in an angle so that once you immerse this in the water, the bottom is not completely touching and that will allow more water to get in. So we're going to start with this pretty yellow container. I like yellow, I guess you could tell that. And for the kitchen, I think it's just a cheery thing to have around. Um, I think I purchased this vase at, um, at home store back in the spring. I don't recall how much it was, maybe 20 bucks, maybe less, but here we go. So we're gonna start by placing the first one in at an angle. We'll snip that one again at an angle and do kind of a little crisscross inside the vase. And then once you've got your greenery in, you can start filling it in with your largest flowers first. Another thing I love about doing flower bouquets is that sometimes you find a flower that brings beautiful memories and this one has stargazer lilies which I did have in my wedding bouquet so that's a wonderful memory to have and they smell so good in the house now remember when you're doing your bouquets turn the uh, container around so that you can get a 360 degree look at what you're doing stagger the heights and that way you give room for each and every bloom to have their own show. Now here we have a beautiful hydrangea. However, if you can see, it's kind of starting to droop a little bit. And I've got a trick to revive hydrangeas. You want to take a container, or you can just use your sink and fill it up halfway, just enough to cover your flower, which is what I'm gonna do here in my so this is going to sit in water for two and a half to three minutes and we're just going to let it soak in the water and in a few minutes you'll see it'll revive itself and be as good as new. There. So while our hydrangea is taking a nice thirsty drink, we will continue with our bouquet. too bad. So we've got a hole here, right here in the center. I think we are going to leave this as is, and that's where we'll put our hydrangea when it's ready. So next, I am going to show you a really neat trick on using larger vessels with less flowers. In this case, this was a pretty large bouquet and I really don't need to use this technique, but I will do it for the sake of sharing this trick with you. So here I've got two beautiful blue vases. I love these. I just got these from Target um, and they were part of the Tabitha Brown Home Collection. So I've got two here and if you can see, there's quite a large opening. We are not gonna use flowers to fill up this whole opening. What I'm going to do is take these Dollar Tree candle jars. Now these you find at Dollar Tree everywhere every day. They have these as a staple. They have the white and now they actually have different colors like pastels and then um, around the holiday time you'll see reds and greens things like that. But once you have used the wax, save these bottles. Don't get rid of them because you can take something um, as slim as the cylinder and what I'm going to do is place it inside of the larger vase. That way, when you put your flowers in, 
you're only going to be using that smaller cylinder and not the huge opening. So it'll be much easier to fill it up. So yeah, now we're gonna just continue to snip the bottom of those branches at an angle, and then any leaves at the bottom, we're gonna take those off so that no leaf touches water. Now this is such a great relaxing event you can do by yourself, but you can also invite your partner or your friends, neighbors over to do a flower arranging party. And I think it's such a relaxing thing for everyone to enjoy together. Then, you know, even if you're doing something for yourself, you could buy one bouquet and stretch it far enough to make a second arrangement for a friend who I'm sure would appreciate it and cheer their day up as well. I think these are called Astrumeria and I love them because they are pretty for one thing and they come in usually pinks um, maybe burgundies and this pretty pale yellow but the thing I love most about Astrumeria is they last a long long time I've had them last for three weeks sometimes so this is one of those flowers that gives you big bang for your book I think our next round of bouquets are coming along quite nicely, don't you? Now, let's see what we can come up with next. Now, we've got this small little guy here. This is also from the Tabitha Brown Home Collection at Target. And I'm just going to make a small little short bouquet of mums here. And you will be surprised how these fill up. Now that, that mouth opening is kind of wide. So what we're going to do is take one of the rubber bands that came with this flower bouquet and we're going to bind it. And you'll see that it actually gives the appearance of a fluffier bouquet. Now I'm gonna show you how it would look without the rubber band. Putting this bouquet in this container that's wide, kind of gives you, it gives you a presentation, but you see the flowers are kind of flopping around. What we're gonna do is take our rubber band and you just wrap it around, not too tight, but you wrap it around tight enough to keep your arrangement together. Now, when you place it in your vase, it looks very full. And it really looks like there's more flowers in there, but we did not add any more to this arrangement. And there you have it. And then the last two bouquets are the smaller little bud vases. I got these from the Dollar Tree. I think they're really cool looking, very sleek, and they go with many, many different styles of decor. So, bud vases. This is where you can really stretch a bouquet and make really as many arrangements as you like. You know those branches that kind of fall off on the ride home and to your dismay you think you've lost them? Never fear, save those, please don't discard them because you can always pop them in a bud vase and then they'll have a new home with the rest of the bouquet. nice fresh flowers are so cheerful in a house I mean it's really the small things that can make or break your mood and after a long day of work you come home you have a house full of fresh flowers and voila your spirits lifted a little all right now we are going to go back to our hydrangea take a look at it and see so I had it submerged in the water several minutes and see how puffy and fluffy it is now? It's really brought 
brought itself back to life. And what I'm going to do is just take a piece of paper towel. Hydrangeas love water. Hence the name hydrangea, hydro meaning water. And here's that bouquet we started first. And we're just going to plop this in, in that ball spot. That was really reserved just for the hydrangea. And there you have it. We've got six bouquets and it didn't even cost us $20. So the next time you're at the supermarket and you're thinking, I'd like to have fresh flowers for the whole house, just remember, you can actually do it. Just with these tips and tricks, um, like the cylinders and the larger containers, use some bud vases for your bathroom, um, and then make sure you've got filler to fill in some of the empty spots. One extra tip is, you'll want to change your water every few days. That way your flower arrangements will last longer. And even when things are going crazy around in the world, flowers will always be here to cheer us up with their color and their beautiful fragrance. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoy your bouquets as you go out and you fill your house with beautiful colors and fragrances. And remember, take good care of yourself and take good care of someone else. See you later.